What's up everybody and welcome to another new series on my channel Um, for those of you who just got to this channel Welcome, I'm Casey of the Beast Demon Lords Alliance And this is Pokemon White 2 Now if you guys didn't know I already had a um, let's play of Pokemon White and I hadn't done anything with White 2, Black 2 at all. I mean, I know it has a different storyline. And I, I think they changed up some of the gym leaders a bit. Not 100% sure. I don't know. This is essentially going to be a blind run for the simple fact. I only have a slim, slim knowledge of what to expect. I watched a playthrough uh, years ago, so I've forgotten basically everything. So hopefully you guys can enjoy this uh, game, this let's play. Because I'm, I'm kind of excited to get back into it, uh, posting new let's plays. Hi there, welcome to the world of Pokemon. Everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. Hey, Pokemon Professor. You're not the only one, lady. You're not special. I think that's a Chinchiro? Chinchiro? I, I don't know. That's right. This world is wildly inhabited by mysterious creatures called Pokemon. Shocker. Pokemon have mysterious powers. They come in many shapes and live in many different places. Are we sure we're still talking about Pokemon? Because us people do. We humans live happily with Pokemon, living and working together. We complement each other. And we also, you know, capture each other. Oh, no way, that's just us to them. <laughs> we help each other out to accomplish difficult tasks, like fighting for blood money, basically. <laughs> Having Pokemon battle one another is particularly popular and deepens the bonds between people and Pokemon until they die. Because if you guys haven't seen the title or the layout, this is a Nuzlocke, a randomized Nuzlocke. And what that basically means is, if a Pokemon faints, it's dead. And we have to say goodbye to it. Um, I'm not going to go over the rules exactly. Because there's a lot of different rules to a Nuzlocke. But the main ones I'm going to follow in is, I'm going to nickname all my Pokemon I catch. You know, so I can form deeper emotional attachment to them. Which will make them dying more painful. I can only catch the first Pokemon on a route. And if that Pokemon faints or flees, that's it. I can't catch anything else on that route. It's locked out. And finally, if a Pokemon faints, it's dead and I'll put it in a dead box on my PC. Although, I I'll be calling it Heaven when I get around to it, because any Pokemon who's been on my team, even if it's only for one episode, they deserve to go to Heaven. Um, oh, and uh, the final one is, if I, ha if I lose all six Pokemon in my party, assuming I have that many, and th that's technically a Whiteout, which is would be the end to a Nuzlocke, except I'm going with the addendum of if I have Pokemon in the PC, I can keep going. Well, I, I putting the dead ones in the box and taking the live ones out, basically. So that's going to be um, the rules. I'll, I'll put them down in the uh, description. The, the rules I'm going to be following. Now... Uh, tell me about yourself. Are you a boy or a girl? I am a boy. Yes, I'd like to know your name. Tell me. Now, usually I like to try and just come up with a... A, a weird name. I don't know. Um... I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go by my name. Because, you know what? I have a pretty awesome name. And I dare anyone to challenge that. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure you guys' names are just as okay. 
Your name is Casey. Yes, it is. What a wonderful name. Thank you. Tell me about your friend, the older boy who lives nearby. Oh, oh is he going to be our rival for this game? Because I, I remember White to Black 2 takes place like a couple years after the end of White Black. So, okay. Sure. Um, I'm not going to call him Hugo. That's a lame name. So, instead, I'm going to call him... Zoo. If you guys remember, that's the name I like using on my, um, Dark Souls Let's Plays, because, honestly, that's the name my, my brother kind of came up with. And it, it's just a good name. So, let's hope Zoo doesn't kill too many of my Pokemon. I'm gonna have to kill some of his, but you know what? That's the way it goes. Did I get it right? Yeah, you did. I'm gonna trust you as a Pokemon. I'm sure you'll be great partners. And like, like I said, it is randomized, so it's not going to be the traditional starters. I said it so on the randomizer, the starter Pokemon will be a Pokemon that has at least two evolutions. Like a Charmander, Squirtle, etc, etc. So, m mainly because I wanted to have a Pokemon that will evolve over the course of the game. J just like a typical starter, you know? Yep. Yep, okay, we're gonna meet many different people. That's all right. Winter. Ugh, God, even in the game, it's still winter. Like, I I live in North Dakota, and it's the beginning of April right now when I'm recording this. And it is still, like, there's still snow on the ground. Granted, it, it's melting pretty quickly because it's like 60 degrees out, but. It was insane. It started out mild too at the beginning of December, but come January, it's just like, oh yeah, winter is not supposed to be enjoyable, is it? And it just became a lot more annoying. Hell, we had a basically a blizzard a few weeks ago. So hopefully, it becomes autumn in game. Who's this? Is this a mom? Oh hi! Why, Aurora Juniper? Is that a real name? Huh. I didn't know that. It's been far too long. What can I do for you? Uh... Sell your son for drug money. For the good of science. Or donate his body to science. Wow, Pokedex? For my child? I, I, I gotta wonder just how Juniper is just like, Hey! I know this is one lady who has a son about the right age. I'm going to find out what her phone number is and call her and have her send her son or daughter out on a Pokemon journey. That's kind of scary when they're like, oh yeah, I can just look it up. Like, I automatically know everyone in the region. Well, that's great. I think a Pokemon uh, journey would be a wonderful experience. Or a terrible one. We don't know. What? Now? She's already here? Who? Who's she? Oh, for Pete's sake, you never change. See, that, that implies to me like they, they've known each other for a while now. I, I don't know if we just moved to this region, or if we've been living here for a while. Once you decide on something, <clears throat> excuse me, once you decide on something, you just start going. Okay. Bianca, like, oh, I remember Bianca. I kind of liked her in the in the last game. She, she was nice, not like Sharon. Sharon was just like, oh, I'm gonna be strong so I can be be the champion. Then everyone will respect me. And then over the course of the game, he learns like, I, I guess being strong for strength's sake is not very healthy. So, and Bianca was like, hey, I'm not sure if I want to be a trainer, but I want to learn, you know, and I don't know, I, I just liked her. A big green hat, got it. Okay, no worries. I mean, if we've been living in this region for a while, then that would explain how she knows our mother. Casey, I'm home. Feels weird saying this to myself. <laughs> 
Okay, so this is my room. Where's mom sleep? I, I don't see any other bed. Alright. There we go. Ah, uh, no, that's a table. Do you know Professor Juniper? No, I don't. She's a famous Pokemon researcher. Great, that tells me nothing. Actually, she's an old friend of mine. Oh, okay, that explains it. She called me today for the first time in ages. Huh, not a very good friend, is she? This is out of the blue, Casey, but... Do you want to have a Pokemon? What happens if I say no? What? That's a shock! I know! Who doesn't want a Pokemon in the world of Pokemon? I'll ask you again. Do you want a Pokemon? New? Uh, okay, see, this annoys me in games. Why give me the fucking yes and no option if no... Like, it, it doesn't change anything. I have to say yes to progress. That's annoying. You know, if it wasn't... If it, the choice didn't matter, then don't give me it. Okay, step one complete. Do you know what a Pokedex is? Yes. I knew you would. Isn't it amazing how it automatically records Pokemon you encounter? Yeah, shocking, isn't it? Yet another question. Oh, for f sake. You want a Pokedex, right? Uh, yes. Step two complete. Your course of action has been set. A girl named Bianca has come here to meet you. <sighs> if she's here to tell me I'm the father of her child, not happening. Not happening. She's Professor Juniper's assistant. I was simply told to look for a big green hat. Okay, is Bianca supposed to be wearing the big green hat or... You know, you're gonna go look for Bianca. Oh, okay. Thanks for giving me the power of free will. Appreciate it. And then you'll get a Pokedex and a Pokemon to be your partner. Yep. You the extra receivers in your bag, right? Uh, apparently. Yes, I know how to open a bag. Goes named Bianca, look for a big green hat. She might be lost because this, this is her first time here. Oh, well, you know, I, I can understand that. Go look for her. Yeah, there's only one bed in this place. Okay. Ah, who are you? The power of science is amazing. Now you can use communication to play with a hundred people at the same time. Oh god, that gives me a headache just thinking about it. Hopefully we get running shoes soon. If you have Pokemon with you, you can walk outside of town. Because apparently I can't do that on my own. Hey there, Casey. Are you going to have Zoo brag to you about his Pokemon again lately? He has a Pokemon already? Come on! Damn, Zoo. He's always got to be the overachiever. Getting a Pokemon before I even spawn into this world. I'm going to have a Pokemon battle soon. Okay. I wonder if I get a Pokemon and can come talk to him. What kind of relationship do you want with the Pokemon you meet? I'm happy just having them by my side. Eh, that's... Eh, okay. You know, not... Babbling's enough for everyone. I understand that. What kind of relationship do I want with my Pokemon? I don't know. I'll figure it out. Hi, Casey. Oh, there you are. Hey, you got a Pokemon yet? Dude, give me a few minutes. Come on. There aren't any Pokemon trains around here, and I'm getting bored. I, I, are you waiting for me to do it so you can officially start this rivalry? What's that? Po a person named Bianca is giving you a Pokemon? Really? Yeah, amazing. I said that without saying anything. Zoo. Oh, Zoo has a sister. Neat. Casey, if you want a Pokemon, take really good care of it, okay? Meh, I'll try. No problems, sis. Yeah. Okay, let's go get your Pokemon. It's something I have to do. And to do that, I need someone I can trust besides my partner Pokemon. Person I can trust. Because I apparently can't trust Pokemon. I'm talking about you. It seems like you got good instincts. 
Ah, uh, we haven't been friends for very long, have we? You head on home. Okay, big brother. Bye, Casey. Alright, let's find that person named Bianca. Let's go. Great. And I'm gonna explore because I haven't been in this city. Too bad, if you had a Pokemon with you, you could compete with Zoo and see who's the better trainer. Me. No question, just me. Go on, Pokemon journey, yada yada. Alright. Did you find that lady named Bianca? I hope I get a Pokemon. Oh, oh, this is their house. Oh yeah, I kind of sped through her leaving, so I didn't... I didn't realize this was their house. Okay. Alright, uh, what are you gonna say? Yep, yeah, let's make them feel better. Won't wish the train of school would hurry up and open. So much about Pokemon I want to know. Try the internet. Train of school was just finished. No one's allowed inside until a teacher, or better said, a gym leader, starts working there. So, they build a school and they don't have teachers already? Wow. Okay, I guess we can't go to school, finally. Wait, I was just in the Pokemon Center and there wasn't anyone like that there. Okay, sheesh, why don't you tell me where she is then? All the ones who had the Pokemon battle. Gym leaders are strong. Yeah, they are. Root of... View of Route 19 from the Outlook is a spurtier city's pride and joy. I, I want to say a spurtier's a uh, flower. J just because it seems like I've seen that before. Um, like selling like flower seeds. Like I'm pretty sure spurtier is a flower. People go on journeys and become adults. Maybe I should leave the city too. You're already an adult. Not much else you can do. Alright. What's in this building? A spurtier city is in the corner of the Unova region. So this isn't exactly the big leagues for Pokemon Babylon. Of course not. If you go to the center of Unova, there are many Pokemon trainers you can battle. I haven't battled with my Pokemon, so it's still weak. Mmm, okay. I got nothing to say about that. I wonder if there's a Pokemon that was dropped on the ground somewhere. That guy's an idiot. My flaky fortune telling tells me you'll meet a Pokemon. Oh my god. She's fucking psychic. That's like looking outside and saying the sky is blue. And then actually being surprised that it is. Alright, uh... I'm guessing this is the right way. He hasn't said nothing. Oh, I get it. The outlook is as pretty as most famous spot. Apparently. I bet Bianca's up there looking at the scenery. You couldn't say that sooner and just save me like five minutes? Go get your Pokemon. Okay. Okay. Yep, there's Bianca. Wow. Now that is a gorgeous view. I, I, I won't, won't lie. That's amazing. It's so pretty. Yeah, it is. Hey there. Don't you agree? I do. I do indeed. Oh, my name is Bianca. I'm the assistant of the Pokemon professor, Professor Juniper. I'm looking for someone. Do you know a person named Casey? No, never heard of him. I know Frank, but I don't know Casey. <laughs> oh wait, you're Casey. Yeah. You're exactly like what I heard. Okay. Nice to meet ya. I have a really important request to ask you. <sighs> Fine, I will be the father of your child. Let's do it. <laughs> Game over. You help us complete the Pokedex. <sighs> I guess. Oh wow, thanks. Your support will help Professor Juniper's research move forward. Ah, uh, okay. I'm not getting paid for this. Filling up the Pokedex is totally fun. I really don't care about filling up the Pokedex. <clears throat> oh, music change. 
Um, I'll talk to her again. Ta-da! And here's a Pokemon that'll be your partner. Ooh, nice cutscene. Alright, now, like I said, I randomized the starter, so I don't know what we're gonna get. Alright, up first. Wait. Oh, Pet Pig got randomized into Pet Pig. <laughs> okay. And Oshawa got randomized into Torchic. Uh, two fire types right off the bat. And Snivy is. a Solosis. Okay. Yeah, okay. I've never used a Solosis, so. that would be interesting. <laughs> Alright, so I'm actually going to leave it up to you guys, um, like I do with most of my Pokemon Let's Plays. Which Pokemon should I make my starter? I I'm kind of hoping none of you vote for Tepig. Don't get me wrong, I kind of like Ambor, but this is going to be a randomized playthrough and I want a randomized starter. So yeah, leave you guys' choice for starters down in the comments below. Along with the suggestion for a nickname. If I like it, I'll probably do it. If not, I'll be like, well, thanks for the suggestion, but I picked this one. So yeah, uh, this is actually what I'm going to leave off here, you guys. A short episode, and long episode, probably. But that's the way it is. The intro was longer than I thought it would be. Anyway, you guys, again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. It's off to a slow start, I know, but it should pick up pretty soon. Anyway, if you did like this video, leave a like on the video, uh, comment down below again with your choice of starter, and don't forget to share it around, you know, spread the love, spread the news, and also, you know, if you wouldn't mind, I'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe to join my alliance, and uh, go check out some of my other videos on my channel, maybe you'll like them a, a bit more. I have a lot of I new ideas for Let's Plays coming up. And I, I, I kind of want to finish the ones in progress at the moment before I add any more on. So, yeah. Um, that's going to be it, you guys. I'll see you guys next time. I, I'm going to try and do this like a weekly episode kind of thing. But, uh, again, I'm not certain if I'm going to be able to stick to that. Because I'm working part-time now. And it's... um a little more exhausting than I would like. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time.